Okay, today we are playing a game on Volskaya Industries. We are playing Soldier basically the entire way through. We play a couple of minutes of Reaper, but we're basically just playing Soldier. And this was a competitive game, but it's a placement game, so who knows what the SR is up to. So let's look at our team. We got Soldier, Mercy, May, Lucio, who's already dead, so we're off to a good start. Uh, Diva and Roadhog. So we don't have a main tank, and by that I mean we don't have Reinhardt, which is always sad, especially on defense. We could have still picked Reinhardt, but then our only DPS would have been May and Roadhog, and that would be really tragic. So, this is about the best we can do. So, let's start the game. So, Lucio is currently dead because he was off trying to cheese people, and he has now died. Diva was off in a similar position, so she is not long for this world. Roadhog is this spec over here, so he's not long for this world either. Also, Mercy is down here below us. She's now being hacked by Sombra. Sombra has successfully hacked Mercy. So Mercy is now fucked. And Mercy dies. Miraculously, May manages to kill two people. But everyone else is currently dead. So it's not exactly going well. Our team decided that we needed to set a handicap because we're just that much better than them. Fair enough. So we got men down here. We've, there's May is, like, trying her absolute hardest right now. Lucio has managed to get back in time to touch the point. We've jumped off the high ground, which is not a recommended course of action, but I can't imagine staying up on the high ground was going to make you survive either. Uh, pretty pretty hosed from all, all angles on that one. I don't think there was a single play that was going to work out any better, really. So, May is trying very hard. Mercy has just undone all of what May has done. Our Mercy is dead again. We've managed to get back again to try and take part in this fight. Uh, we're very close to the enemy team. We don't really want to be this close. We want to be standing further back. We also could be standing up on the high ground behind us, because as you're coming out of the second spawn, there's a staircase that goes up to the ramp behind us, and we could be shooting down at them from up on the high ground if we're going to try and take part in this fight. Because... As Master Obi-Wan Kenobi taught us, high ground is really fucking overpowered. And here we are, on the low ground, with the fucking lower class. How fucking terrible. Look, look at all of these people. Lots of ultimates are happening. The whole enemy team has their, uh, have their ultimates already, so this is not going well. We have managed to kill Mercy, but we have also died. Diva just got fucking murdered. It's not gone well. Mercy should not be doing this. This is not recommended. So, silver lining. Soldier's really good at defending the second point on Volskaya because you can sit on the catwalk behind the point the entire game. Um, and it feels really good. I like, don't really want to come over here. I mean, we can come over here. It's not It's not the end of the world. But, like, I just like to sit on the catwalk, like, at behind the point because there's, like, no way they get to you and you can still see everything. And it's also easier to keep track of the uh, right-hand side from over there, because that's where you're going to get flanked from, is the right-hand side with the platform coming around. It's easier to keep an eye on it if you're over there. And this is just, like, way close to people, you know? So we uh, tried to walk on this wall. The wall is now gone. We've managed to kill two people, so this push is not going to work out for them. We are getting very close to the enemy team. Our team does decide that they want to go and stand in places that we're not really allowed to be standing. So that does force us to go up as well at points. As you can see now, we're slowly advancing upon their spawn, or at least members of our team are doing so. The uh, If you're playing somebody like Soldier, and your team is deciding that they're going to fight outside of the ch outside of the area... The best you can basically do is sit up on this platform over here, because then you can at least still, you still got high ground. It's relatively difficult for the enemy team to get up to you because it's an elevator. The problem is that it's hard for you to get up there. Rocket, uh, Soldier can helix jump over here, and that's like the best place we can be standing if our team is going to stand out there. Because when your team is too far up, it does force you to go and stand too far up as well. But right now, we're just sort of fighting in the hangar, so... We don't really want to be on the low ground. We want to be up on the high ground as quickly as possible. We decide that we can't make the run back to the high ground. I would have just gone and sat up there anyway and, like, see them go out there and being like, fuck it, they're going to kill themselves, basically. So, 
fight's happening now. May is using her ultimate. Reinhardt has just gone to the moon. He is using Hammer Down up there, by the way. We just heard it. Uh, he died before he could land. But God, did he try. So this is not great because we're in a very dangerous spot to use Tack Visor. I mean, we're on the low ground with the lower class still. So this is just generally very dangerous. You know, they see us. And they decide that they're going to stab us in the kidneys and take our money. And it doesn't really work out very well for us. For us. If we're going to use it on the low ground from this position, it would be better to try and swing around the backhand side around out here first. Because then you can just come out behind them and try to use it over there. We start using it on the point, which is already where most of their attention is going to be focused. And then they see you put the visor on and they're like, fuck him. And then you got fucked. So... Either try not to be on the low ground, or if you're going to do it, try to start using the visor in slightly less heated area. But anyway, this fight was not going so terrible, but now the entire enemy team is alive again. Diva is now using her ultimate. We didn't quite get out of the way, but we actually got far enough that we didn't die, which is miraculous, honestly. Their soldier, currently using tack visor. Their soldier, now dead. No more tack visor. Great. So, we did just see their Mercy also, though, who is slightly more pressing to us, because we see Soldier, we see Mercy. Soldier dies, no longer priority one. Mercy is now in the room behind us. We should turn around and kill the Mercy. She is probably not full HP, and our Helix Rockets are off cooldown, so she should be pretty fucking dead right now, basically. We decide instead that we're going to come over here and fight the Diva, probably because she's touching the point. Honestly, we shouldn't even be fighting the Diva either, because Lucio is more important. We don't want to be... F a tank is the last person we want to be firing at in most circumstances. And, like, Mercy Lucio, way higher priority. Mercy got fucked anyway because she got uh, tag-teamed by Lucio and May. Feels bad for her. But Lucio is still over here on the point with us, so we could be shooting him instead. And he is a higher priority for us than D.Va. Um, so, our D.Va is now using her ultimate, which is a tragic waste of company resources, honestly. At least she killed Lucio, who was dead anyway, I guess. So, we offended off the push. Great, awesome. Now we're going back up onto the high ground. Great. And we have half of another attack visor built up. And our team slowly advancing upon the spawn again. There they go. As we can see, there's May. May almost died. We're shooting at some people from up on the high ground. We're playing soldier right now. Just saw Lucio bounce up in the sky. I didn't actually know who this was. It's fucking Lucio, the one with the least right to be out there. God damn it. So, May has managed to wall off the soldier. We can't... Uh, the soldier. What am I saying? I guess Reinhardt's a soldier, technically. He's not a soldier, but he's a soldier, you know? So, fight breaking out over here now. Reinhardt's just used Earth Shatter. A lot of tanks down here. We're firing into D.Va again. D.Va's not our highest priority. We want to be firing at anybody other than a tank, basically. Who do we see that we could be shooting at instead of D.Va? We could be shooting at Lucio. Mercy steps forward in a second. Or we could be firing at this soldier who is also up on the high ground as well. But instead we shoot at the D.Va. Which is uh, not, not, not a very... Or, or this Farah. Also, that's another option. But we do, we shoot at the D.Va instead. Pretty much the lowest priority. Though, um, if you are trying to use certain ultimates, then you want to focus D.Va because D.Va can block your ultimate. If we were thinking we were going to attack Visor in the next few seconds, we might want to try and prioritize breaking her mech. But that's not what's about to happen. Or if you're, uh, the Zarya is looking to try and Graviton, you might want to try and break her mech so that there's no risk of it getting eaten. But generally, D.Va is like the lowest priority to try and kill. Or, or you're trying to get her off of like a support that she's diving, you know, something like that. But in that situation, we could have been firing at so many more important people than D.Va. So we are down on the low ground again now. We managed to mostly kill Farah, so she's not going to be a problem for the next couple of seconds because she's not going to poke her face out again. We just have to keep in mind she was over there. There's Farah right now. Farah has managed to get the health kit from behind. She just sort of Goomba stomps us and kills us. Um, I would not have expected her to actually perform such an aggressive maneuver, so I would have also gotten killed. If we knew she was just going to basically land on us and, like, slap us in the face with the rocket, the play would be 
run away. But I would not have expected her to do that. So she's doing that over there, justice reigning from slightly to the side. And it didn't exactly work out very well for her. So now we know her ultimate is down. We've managed to build up Tack Visor. That fight went pretty badly for them. So now we're back up here on the high ground again. Um, it is very sad that they have a Reinhardt and we don't have a Reinhardt, by the way. You see how much harder that fight just generally was for our team because they had a Reinhardt and we didn't? And yet we still won the fight anyway, which is which just goes to show you that there truly is no justice in the world. Anyway, so, enemy team starting to regroup. We have Tack Visor built up. We're safely up on the high ground. Team going up into places they're not allowed to be going to. Their soldier just died, their Lucio just died, so they're not going to be really doing anything for the next 15, 20 or so seconds. We're going to go back up onto the high ground. May's using her ultimate over there. We're like, ah, come on, guys. Yeah, basically. So we're off the high ground again. Our team is fighting out here. Like, we don't want to be out here. Like, you know. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this foolishness. And I mean, our team is out here, so we feel obligated to come out here. And that, when your team is too far up, it does force you to go and stand up with them. Because your choices are, stand back here where I'm supposed to be standing, and let my team die. Or go and stand where I'm not supposed to be standing, but I'm with my team. And that's just, it's kind of what you have to do, even if you don't want to be standing out there. You just kind of have to make the best of the situation. Um... Yeah, so here's Farah up in the sky right now. Uh, we didn't manage to kill the Farah right there. Probably could have done, but we didn't kill her. Feels bad, man. So we're really close to these people now. And this is very scary at this point. Like, we're, we're going to kill this Lucio and all that. But, like, this is real scary. We should be trying to get to the high ground as quickly as possible to get away from the fucking peasants that are coming into the hangar right now. And the easiest way to do that from this position is to go up the staircase over here. And then, if we really have to, we can just come and fight from the room up here. Or we can swing back around to the catwalk, which is the better position to be standing in, if we think we've got time. As soon as we see the fight starting to come towards us, we're playing soldier. We want to be as far away as possible. As soon as we see it start coming towards us, we want to try and reposition as quickly as possible. Because this is a very spooky place to be standing as soldier, especially since we have Tack Visor. We don't want to use Tack Visor on the low ground in most circumstances. However, they are executing this push as poorly as humanly possible. So it didn't even matter in the end. We have like had like five ultimates. We didn't use any of them. Like it's just it's, you know. So they're going off out there again. We don't really want to be over there. We decide we're going to go stand over here. This is about the best we can do given where our team wants to stand. We almost got one shot by Roadhog, which is very scary. That was a very sad D.Va ultimate. Let's go back and watch that. Perfect. Just slid off the wall. Okay, so now Lucio has just died because he was standing in an illegal position. Fair enough. Great. It's okay, we killed one of their team as well. Fuck, now Maze died for the exact same reason Lucio died. Far is now coming directly at us. We have our um, biotic field, so we can stand here and try to fight her. She has bumped it away from us. We have heard ultimates start happening over here. We have come around the corner into another ultimate, but she has died immediately. We decide we're going to use Tack Visor. This is a very risky play because we only have 100 HP when we start doing this, and we are among the lower class still. So this is very scary, but they don't have anything that can punish us quickly, and their Farah just died. So, it works out reasonably, but the f um, but because of the position we were in, we just got cock-blocked by Reinhardt and D.Va, which is the other fear of using Tack Visor on the low ground. It's much easier to get completely cock-blocked if you're on the low ground. So, we managed to escape with 3 HP. Over here, we see ultimates currently happening. We didn't quite kill um, Reinhardt, but he dropped so low he died to Blizzard ticking on him, which is very sad. So we've won this fight. Um, Lucio is over here as our Roadhog. They get to have some super staggered death timers now, which is great news because they only have 25 seconds left. And they just had, well, that's some of the most staggered deaths in recorded history. So our team 
now really feeling it. We're going to go outside. We missed the helix jump, which is unfortunate. As we can see, enemy team not exactly doing a good job right here. Here's Reinhardt. He got rezzed right next to us. Not the spookiest thing I've ever seen. There goes Soldier. He's sprinting in. He did it. He touched it. He's running right now. And he's managed to kill us. So, basically, this whole time, what's happening right here, and I get this is a very difficult position we found ourselves in, because we're advancing into the other soldier, which is not what we want to do. We don't want to be walking into the enemy team, into the enemies that we're p shooting at, generally. Um, but the enemy team is also coming up behind us, so once we get onto the point, I'd swing it to the right-hand side and start, like, getting behind that wall over there to use as cover. So we're just, like, walking up to this soldier... We're low HP, we know he's not used any of his cooldowns, so he just turns around and he just kills us with Helix Rocket, because we're right on his face at low-ish low -ish HP. So, basically, don't walk into people that you're trying to shoot at when you're playing Soldier, usually. So, doesn't matter, enemy team more interested in touching the point than actually fighting, they lost the fight anyway, we won, they didn't even get one tick. So that's great. As long as we get the first point, we'll be in a position where we can't lose anymore, which I always find to be incredibly liberating as a feeling. Much harder to be in these days, but... So, we're attacking again. Our team is the same, I'm pretty sure. May actually might be something different. Mm. Where's the other DPS? Who's the other DPS? We'll figure it out eventually. I don't remember who it was. So, now we're attacking. We still don't have a Reinhardt. This is very sad. Less sad when you're attacking, generally. So, we're over here. We're shooting in. It's actually a Farah. I can... Or, actually, that might be Genji. I can't quite tell. Somebody somebody that can get over there. So, it's either Genji or Farah, but I can't quite tell. I don't remember who it was. So, we're shooting into these people over here right now. We don't see the ball slowly coming in on the side and drops us really low. Very spooky. We put our biotic field down. Didn't really need to put it there. We were being healed by Mercy already. But we did kind of do it at like the same time. But this is not a very good place to put the biotic field. Because we're going to leave it behind almost immediately. So over here we see that Roadhog has just gotten killed. And their soldier has just gotten killed. So we've basically traded DPS for DPS. We've managed to get back here and start standing over here with our Lucio. Here comes the enemy team. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's still, we do still have a May. Okay. So, things are not exactly going well right now. We don't really want to be standing down here. Um, again, you know, with these dirty commoners. We want to try and get to the high ground. And it's really easy, because we can get up here, and it's usually pretty easy to get up there, honestly. And that's a really good place to stand, because it's high ground overlooking the point, and the point has no cover on it that actually protects you from that high ground. So, that's a great place to be standing. Alternatively, we could be standing up on this side. That's hard to get to, though, because you have to go up through the staircase over here. I mean, you can go off the other side as well, but generally the enemy team is more focused around this area. We don't want to be standing on the point, because this happens to us, where we get killed by the close-range heroes that we don't really want to be associating with, you know? So... I'm now wondering who was behind the enemy team. I guess it must have been D... No, D.Va was with us. Who the fuck was all the way back there? I don't know. Whatever. Lucio? I guess it has to have been Lucio. Whatever. It doesn't matter. So, we've got two-thirds of a attack visor built up right now. Mercy has res. Yeah, that's great. Awesome. So... We are shooting into the choke point right now. We're shooting at Reinhardt's shield. There's nothing else for us to be shooting at. We're playing Soldier 76 right now, basically. Far has broken the enemy team's teleporter, which is fantastic news. Um, it looks like a fight might have just been happening on the left in the hallway right next to us, because I just saw, yeah, Roadhog's fighting somebody in there. Roadhog's fighting somebody in this room right next to us, so we should turn in there and help him with that. I don't know who he's fighting, but he's fighting someone in there. Um, so, over there, we just see Symmetra has killed Lucio and Farah. This is depressing for two different reasons. We just got Earth Shattered. Feels bad, man. Not much you can do about that when your team doesn't have a Reinhardt, except sta try to stand further away. Um, or stand closer to walls so that you can try and get out of the way. We got hooked, but we got saved by D.Va. We've almost got Tac Visor built up. Right now, I'd be trying to get to the high ground on the left-hand side so that we can get ready to use this Tac Visor. 
because we want to be on the high ground where we're using it. Instead, we're just walking up to the point again. This is not where we want to be standing. We're using TAC Visor on the low ground. We're surrounded by all these things that can kill us. We don't want to be doing down here. When we see that we've almost got our ult built up, we should try to get to the high ground because that's where we want to be. So we're going to change to Reaper now. We just used our ultimate. Fair enough. The problem is Reaper isn't exactly great against their team because Soldier is good against Reaper. You can kill Symmetra, but when Symmetra's got the tether on you and is jumping around you like a fucking gibbon, it's really hard to actually kill her. Uh, doesn't really counter Roadhog, because Roadhog can just kill you. That's about to change in the upcoming patch. Um, so currently, he's not that great against this lineup. I can't wait for that lifesteal um, buff to get put on Reaper. No more soul orbs. Instead, it's 20% uh, of the damage he deals, he heals, which is fantastic. That means he'll actually get to fucking kill tanks. Isn't it incredible? Because... Roadhog's getting nerfed on the same patch. He won't be able to one-shot Reaper anymore. Reaper's going to be healing stupid damage off of the Roadhog at point-blank range. Finally, Reaper's going to be able to kill tanks because the tanks won't be able to kill him first. It's incredible. Can't wait. It's going to be great times because I like playing Reaper a lot. But um, it's kind of no reason to pick him over Roadhog at the moment. Roadhog's about to get a lot worse when he can't one-shot people anymore. Um, I think, anyway. I think once he can't one-shot any people anymore, it will get significantly worse. So, we're over here now. Um, we're just sort of walking straight at them. Oh, fuck, there's the whole team. We're not doing a very good job of looking around right now to find out where people are. We've basically just been looking in one direction the whole time, so this is not very good awareness. And awareness is pretty important for Reaper because he's a very slow, methodical hero. You've got to kind of, like get a good sense of where everything is and kind of plan out what you're going to do. So, over here, we see Symmetra te lasering people. We killed the Symmetra. Awesome. Over here, Teleporter. We've used Wraith Form for basically no reason. Probably just fear that we were going to get killed on the way over here, which, I mean, fair enough. We do want to break this Teleporter as quickly as possible. Um, but it was a bit of a frivolous use of Wraith Form. So, now we're over here, fight happening. We've used Wraith Form really early, probably in anticipation of a hook um, that did not actually come out. You know, you try and predict and it doesn't work out. Over here we see Tac Visor currently happening. A lot of things. Divine Providence is working very hard to try and keep us alive right now. So right now we're low HP. We're going to try and kill this Roadhog. We've killed this Roadhog. Right now I would Wraith Form over to that large health kit behind you because you're really low HP. Instead, we kill the Mercy because she sticks her face out. So great, works out. Um, I would have just immediately Wraith formed after killing the Roadhog to get over to this large health kit, basically just because, like, walking around at 100 HP is not great. But Mercy pokes her face out, and we kill her. So, you know, works out. It's all good. So, we can now no longer lose because they didn't actually get it past the first tick. Great, awesome. Uh, so, Mercy's died on the way in. And she has one of the only ultimates that we currently have. Feels bad, man. Um, it's really sad as well that this is all happening because somebody on their team disconnected. And two of our team have died on the way in. So we can't actually do anything with this. And it was, like, as we see over here, like three people died off in fucking Narnia or some shit. And then we just got one shot by Roadhog. Feels bad, man. Had the team not uh, gone off like that, we could have probably done it because they had they were missing a person at the time and we only needed 31%, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so, far has died just as we arrived, which is fantastic news. We almost have Death Blossom built up. It's going to be pretty hard for us to actually get anything out of Death Blossom here, though. Um... So, that happened. Great. Awesome. We managed to kill him right as he started using Whole Hog. He probably did get most of that refunded, if not all of it, though. So, we're trying to go in. Our team's not quite with us. Lucio just died. Far is still not quite back yet. Sad times all around. We've almost got Death Blossom. We're going in. We're not quite committing to this. Like, we're very uh, not sure that we want to actually go in on this. I wouldn't be trying to kill the Zarya, because she has got the Mercy tethered to her. What we want to do right now is try and get up onto the high ground and get these people, because we want to. We have to try and get them off the high ground as quickly as possible. So, 
basically, you can either try and, like, teleport around out of line of sight to try and, like, get up on them. Like, you can come around the side we were just on and teleport across to the staircase or go, like, try and get over on that side and come up this way. But basically, we want to try and get up here. From the position we're in now, we could probably just, like, swing in over here and try to walk up the staircase at them. Uh, but also, up here, team currently dying. Not going very well at this point. Probably best to just walk out. However, these people are up on the high ground. We do have to try and get rid of them. This is not how you do it. Don't do that one. Don't do that one. <laughs> we get rezzed by Mercy, so we're still up here. We just saw Soldier in the, st in the room on the right side of us. Watch very closely. There was Soldier. We could turn right now, kill Soldier, because he's in this confined space with us. Like, he should be pretty easy for us to kill. We didn't notice it happened. We instead jump on the point and start using Death Blossom and are promptly killed by it. We're up on the high ground. We've got to get these people off the high ground. we got to try and get them off. Soldier was right there, prime for just, like, shooting twice and killing, ideally. But we didn't want to jump off onto the point. The thing is, as well, when you're using Death Blossom is don't, try not to use it on tanks, because you actually do less damage to tanks if you use Death Blossom over just left-clicking them. Because if you left-click into a tank, you'll kill them in, like, three shots, two, three shots, depending on the tank that you're shooting at, right? If you use Death Blossom, you have to channel, like, the entire duration of Death Blossom, and then you're still not actually going to fully kill most tanks. I think you fully kill Orissa, and then that's it. Like, you want to just left-click into the tanks. You don't want... If we just jumped onto the point to start ulting tanks, that's not what we want to be doing with our time. If you just gone around the high ground and tried to kill people. If they even had a far, we'd be slightly closer to the far to shoot up into the sky at her. We wouldn't be doing that, but, you know, that's that's something we could have done if we felt so inclined. But that was not the correct play with the Death Blossom. So now we're back to Soldier again. Um... Far has given us some trouble. Reaper's hard to work with um, versus their team and on this map in general. Kind of hard to work with, so this is fine. Um, we're waiting for our team right now. Far has just had a super staggered death over there, so we're going to be waiting a while. We've got two minutes left, so, you know, we've only got to get one tick on it. It's not the end of the world, you know. There's no need to start being too scared about it yet. So we peek the corner, fire our rocket in, now we're just trying to shoot, poke our face in and do some damage. Really, we should just be going up onto the high ground. Like, we should just try and get up here as quickly as possible. High ground's really strong, it's harder for them to hit you up there. We don't have a Reinhardt to stand behind over here. This is a really bad place for us to be standing. We're just going to take a bunch of damage and, like, maybe get randomly one shot. We should just go stand up here, because that's where we want to be, basically. Um, not down here. We're, in general, not doing a very good job of leveraging high ground in this game, and that is very important for Soldier. He is the he is the hero that benefits from high ground more than any other, honestly. I mean, lots of heroes do benefit from high, high ground, but Soldier is, like, the best one. So, we're starting to try and get inroads in. We have picked off their Mercy, which is great. We see Roadhog getting hooked in. Um... But Roadhog got saved by D.Va. We're getting very close to the enemy team right now, which is not where we could be standing. We could be standing further back right now. We could be standing, like, pressed up against the wall behind us and be just as effective as we're being right now, but safer because we'd be, like, ten more feet backwards. We're getting pretty close to these people, which is pretty scary, and we don't need to do it. So soldiers using TAC visor up there. That's happening over there. We try and shoot at the soldier. Just get out of the line of sight, honestly. We got rezzed by Mercy anyway, so it's okay. Uh, we have, yeah, we're gonna kill this soldier eventually, but it's taking us a little while to get there. You know, feels bad. We got there in the end. We almost have TAC Visor built up, but we're really low HP, and again, we're standing on the point. We don't need to be standing on the point. We're playing a long range hero. We're getting much too close to the enemy team while we're playing soldier, and we're not, we're not standing up on that sick, sick, sick high ground. And we're playing Soldier again, so we could, like, Helix jump over to the other high ground and, like, swing around onto the catwalks and start shooting at them as well if we felt so inclined. So we're back now. Farah just died as we arrived. We've got some ultimates built up. We can try and do a nano visor. That doesn't happen, but that would be ideally what we try to do. Here's D.Va. D.Va's out of mech. D.Va almost died. We almost died. Roadhog did die. There goes D.Va to die. 
Um, so Roadhog is calling out for the res. I mean, we shouldn't, but she's done it because we like we've got enough time to get back again, and then we can save the res for the actual push. But whatever, we can't control that. Team's going in right now. We've got Tac Visor. Uh, again, we're getting really close to these people. We want to try and get this Mercy with Attack Visor. We do, but we got pulled into the Graviton because we're really close to the, our team. Be standing further back. Or, in this particular case, seeing as we are trying to get the Mercy who's standing out of the way, we could swing around this side and try to use Tac Visor from over here. We'd be more away from our team. We'd be in a slightly harder to reach angle for them, especially since then they'd have to divide their attention between us and the front line. And we'd be able to see the Mercy that's hiding over on that side with Tac Visor as well. So, just running straight onto the point, not advisable. Or, better yet, we could try and swing up the staircase. This would take slightly longer, but we could try and get up the staircase and into this room and then try to do it from up on the high ground as well and accomplish a similar thing, but we would have been pulled off to the high off the high ground into that graviton, it looked like. So, again, we're just uh, standing too close to these people. We're getting real close while we're playing soldier. We want to be as far away from people as possible. So we're switching to Tracer now just to try and touch the point. We're not going to get to touch the point. I'll spoil it for you right now. We do not win the game, but we also don't lose the game because it's just a draw. Uh, as long as they don't get to the first tick, if you don't get to the first tick either, it's just a draw. Even though it says you need 30%, you actually still draw. Um, so. Went a lot better than expected, honestly. Like, I saw your team early on, first time through, and I was like, I bet, I bet you lose this game. I actually drew, drew the game, and it was like a lot closer than it really had any right to be, given our team comp at points, and the way our team decided to play, also which we can't really um, influence. Um, it's This is uh, one of those games that was largely impacted by your team, I think, but it's also one of those games that I think we could have probably swung if we used, uh, like, took advantage of high ground a little better, positioned a little better, and, like, executed our ults better, because we ulted quite a few times, but none of the ults were really very effective. What, were any of them actually very effective? Not really, no, like, we never really got off a really good tack visor this entire game, and we used quite a few, so, I, this was a game that was, like, really close, I think we could have actually swung this game around, but, in the end, it's a draw, which is, like, whatever, you know, basically everyone just wasted, like, 20 minutes of their life, 17 minutes of their life, you know, whatever. Um, so, things that stand out the most in this game, we're not, we're not standing up on the high ground. And this also ties in as well. We're not, like, falling back away from things in time either. Like, we keep just standing on the low ground with people, which is really spooky when you're playing soldier. Long-range hero. Be as far away as possible. Want to try and get up on the high ground. There's quite a few points during this game we could have been standing up on the high ground. And there's quite a few points where we could see the fight coming in advance enough that we could fall back and get to the high ground before the fight actually started. So, it's we're not standing on the high ground enough, and we're not like, falling away from aggression enough. And during the times that we can't get to the high ground, we're just standing too close to them. Like, we can be standing further away. We want to be as far away as possible when you're playing Soldier, because he is a long-range hero. Not, like, sniper range, because, like, Soldier's weapon does still have fall-off damage, but you want to be as far back as possible still. Soldier does not like people being right on top of him. That's when he is at his weakest. Even then, he's still all right, but we want to be as far back as possible. Um, and like alt execution, but this ties into the other points so much that it's kind of like not even its own thing. Because like, if we were positioning better, these tack visors would have probably been better overall anyway. So, it's like alt execution, but it's more positioning related than it is alt execution. So, broadly speaking, we're just gonna say positioning. So, thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, more than happy to answer, and I hope you found the video helpful.